guys, welcome to Marche's Mira. I'm Marche, and today I'm going to do my current favorites. It's a combination of makeup, skincare, hair, fragrance, just a whole big jambalaya of my favorites. There might be some background noise because I have a fan directly beside me because it is so hot in my house. But let me stop rambling and let's get to it. Let's go. So I think I'm going to start with hair first because that's the most favorites I have. These products made my hair so moisturized, so soft, like heaven. They're all by Camille Rose Naturals, ironically. First is the Moroccan Pear Conditioning Custard. This is a conditioner. If you have kids, don't let your kids get near this because they will eat it. It smells so good. Like I wish you could smell it. Oh so good and the fragrance of these products stay in your hair so like that's what these that bleh, these products are what's in my hair right now and my hair still smells like cake better next is a deep conditioner the algae Al renew deep conditioner this stuff again smells so good it looks a little funky it's green but so moisturized so moisturized my hair drank this stuff up because clearly my hair was a little dry and then finally we have the Camille's Rose Natural Almond Jai Twisting Butter. Again, moisturizing. This, my, I have twist under here. But you can see how moisturized these two flat twists look. This and gel and oil was all my styling products. This, but this. This, but this. Camille Rose. Y'all don't sleep on them. I've actually used this line before, but I used it way back when, when I was transitioning and not really know. And honestly, back when I became natural, there weren't a lot of people going natural, so I didn't really have much to go off of. And I had tried a few products from Camille's World Naturals, and I didn't like them, but I think that's solely on the fact that I was transitioning. I had two different hair types, and I didn't really know what I was doing. So, girl, you made a lot of me. A lot out of me. I'm gonna jump into skincare um a few months back I was suffering with what I thought was acne I had a lot of breakouts right here and I have really dry skin so I went to a dermatologist and she told me I had an acne and she prescribed me like acne cream and everything but my sister took told me well why don't you go to where I go to get my well me and our mom go get our facials and try extractions y'all the lady didn't I didn't even have acne I had clogged pores so extraction saved my life and I after that incident I made my skincare very simple so the point of all my rambling is to say my first skincare favorite I don't have it to show because it's wet in the bathroom is African black soap that's all I wash my face with now African black soap it's the truth Next, I don't take my makeup off with makeup wipes anymore. Those do not work well with my skin. They burn. I've been loving the Simple Hydrating Cleansing Oil. This this is like my third bottle. This is a cheap version. I do love the Clinique Cleansing Balm, but it's $30. It's $30. Next, if I just want to say, like I messed up on my makeup and I just want to take a quick wipe or I have like dramatic eye makeup and I don't want to go right in with my oil, again by Simple, I'll use their Sensitive Skin Experts Marcellar Cleansing Water. The truth. The truth. The truth. Makeup wipes. Who? My makeup favorites. First, foundation. Well, let's start in order. First, primer. Something I've been loving for months it, and I saw the Glam Twins mention this, and they have oily skin, but this is still good for dry skin. It's by MAC, the Time Check Lotion. Do you see that? And it lasts. Every time I do my makeup, I use this. It is glass, but it's sturdy glass, so I do travel with this, but I don't check my makeup. So it's, pr it's pretty, it's made it through travel. This stuff is so moisturizing, and I like thick primers and moisturizers because my skin is so dry. Thin things... My skin's like, pff, girl, please. This is the truth. If you have dry skin and you want something that's hydrating, blurs your pores, this is supposed to be a filter in a bottle, and I truly believe that. Get your some. Thank me later. Next, I also go in, after that, I go in with Urban Decay's Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. This is the biggest primer I've ever seen. And it has the thing where the more you use it, it pushes up, so you use all the products. I don't know what the technical name for it is, but this stuff 
so concentrated like one pump covers your whole face so i'd say go in with a light hand if you don't like a primer covering your whole face but this blurs your pores so well what pores where what where gone next i have foundation now this foundation snuck up on me because i don't care for liquidy foundation but i was like let me try this because so many people are raving about it and it's drugstore the NYX Total Control Foundation. This foundation is the truth. And it has stood the test of time because I've worn this foundation on two occasions for over eight hours. And I looked like what? I look like I had my makeup on for three hours, not eight. And I have dry skin and this foundation works well with me. I don't, it says the like amount of drops i don't pay attention to it like that i do it like i've seen on instagram i drop it right on my face i drop here i drop here i drop on my forehead and that covers my whole face the coverage on this thing a1 long lasting a1 color selection that's what it does run slightly orange on me and i prefer my foundations a little more neutral but it's not something i can't get over and work with uh with my concealer and bronzer and all that so get you some drugstore next is bronze soft focus finishing powder in milk chocolate finish this bronzer is the truth it's not too light not too dark it gives me just the right amount of bronzer without making me look just muddy love it next is highlighter now y'all Y'all gonna be like, Marche, how late are you? But I was late on the bandwagon, y'all. Some things that come out, I don't jump toward. I'm like, mm, been there, seen it, doesn't look that special. I think everybody's going after it, especially when it's a limited edition. And if I try twice and it sold out, I'm over it. But this finally came back permanently. So I thought, in a splurge, I said, let me give it a try. I heard this is the best, one of the best highlighters for women of color, brown girls, melanated, educated, and eh, eh focus it's the mac oh darling highlighter and i just got it and y'all it made a lot out of me why i don't know why they about this i needed this thing look it's what i'm wearing right now it is very brown girl friendly black girl approved get you get you Get you this, get you this. Next is what um my favorite nude lip combo. It kind of snuck up on me. I just saw myself gravitating to these same three lip products. The lip liner is Plum by MAC. I love their lip liners. I don't really use anybody else's. NYX is close. NYX is a close dupe to the texture and formula of MAC lip liner. So if you don't want to splurge on a MAC lip liner, get NYX. But I love this one. This is Plum. And then I go over it with the, this is limited edition, so I'm going to be upset because it came in a set. I don't really want to buy the set over, but this right here has been my jam. This is the Pure Cosmetics and JD Wady 180 collab. This is her liquid lipstick. It came in a set of four. This is in the shade Cake. And y'all, I did not think this was going to be brown girl friendly. And this isn't even the color that I bought the collection for. I bought the collection for the purple and the lip gloss. But this one snuck up on your girl. Beautiful. The texture of these. Now, it does. it's not transfer proof. These do transfer. But the texture, if you have dry lips like me and you just get tired sometimes of stuff being dry. This one, the, the Pure Cosmetics formulas, so comfortable so comfortable so if you don't mind transfer lipstick comfortable and then i go over it sometimes with my favorite lip glass from mac and i'm gonna buy another one because they've come out with reformulation repackaging you get more products of course the price went up a little bit it is spite by mac and this one is almost gone so as soon as i run out of this one i'm gonna run to mac and get me another one again this is spite these three the truth and last but not least, I have one of my favorite fragrances for the last few months. And I already know she's going to be my go-to for spring. It's the And it's my first foundation. Marche, what are you talking about? It's my first fragrance from this particular brand. 
it's Marc Jacobs yes I never owned a Marc Jacobs perfume before but this one is Marc Jacobs Daisy Marc Jacobs kiss I wish y'all could smell this through the camera oh I love fruity fragrances fruity light just really fruity like that's the best way I can describe it and this just trust me when I say you need this if you like product candy the one with the dark pink rim then you're gonna love this love it and I'm probably gonna just go back and buy the big size bottle when I run out of this because I hope it's not limited edition because I don't have time for my favorite stuff to be limited edition do you hear me so trust me just trust me trust me and thank me later so that's all the favorites I have for you. These are my current phrase, the things that I've been loving recently. Let me know if you like these kind of videos. I can definitely do more. <laughs> Thank you for joining me and I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. I'd really appreciate it. I love you all. Bye.